Butchake English for Teens. Welcome to Butchake English for Teens. I'm Alex Sherard. And I'm Josh Barnard. Let's get started by watching today's skit. I hate New York. I want to go home. Where do you come from? Where did you come from? Japan. I'm Rina. Why are you eating lunch by yourself? It's only my second day here. Me too. Let's eat together. Wow, that's great. I was getting worried about Hillary, so I'm glad that she found a friend. Yeah, and one who's also new to New York. They seem to have a lot in common. I'm sure we'll find out how much soon enough. Anyway, did you catch how Hillary said she was new to the school? Yeah, she said, it's only my second day here, right? That's right. We use the expression, it's only number, to add emphasis to a small number. In Hillary's case, she was emphasizing how recently she had started school. It's only my second day here. You can also use this to emphasize how cheap something is. For example, if you found a great deal on a scented candle, it's only two dollars. Or how soon something is. Like if you're waiting for a movie to start and your friend is impatient, it's only ten more minutes. Or if you're trying to convince your co-worker to join you in a hot dog eating competition. Josh, I told you I'm not interested. Come on, don't you want to try beating the record? Well, what was it again? It's only 74 hot dogs. That is not the proper use of only. Our Itago point for today is how to ask about where someone's hometown is. Rina said, where do you come from? But this does not have the nuance she intended. Yeah, where do you come from sounds unnatural. It's something you might ask when meeting an alien visitor from a faraway planet, not someone from a different city or country. We do occasionally use this phrase in the past tense when we are surprised by something suddenly appearing. That's right, like Hillary did when Rina popped out from behind the bench. But when you're asking about someone's hometown, you should say, where are you from? For example, where are you from, Josh? West Philadelphia, born and raised. Where are you from, Alex? Minnesota. Where are you from, Gorznak? I can never remember. Ah, where did that thing come from? How rude. Gorznak isn't a thing. He's a highly intelligent extraterrestrial species. And he's my friend. Uh, okay, uh, nice to meet you, Gorznak. Where do you come from? I'm sorry, Gorznak. It seems Josh still isn't ready to meet you. He'll have to wipe his memory again. <laughs> what? Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out, and don't forget to have fun. See you next week. Butchake English for Teens!